Uh, after I did the video on cracking out the new CGC slab and loaded it, I realized that I should have included one more important piece of information. And let me explain why. Uh, those that want to use that method sh must pay attention to. So here is another slab. This is actually the first slab that I use the cracking out the bottom methods. As you can see, I also use a hammer to smash the top part of this slab, okay? And then I realized that, gee, what a waste of time because I still had to work on the side, right? Just smashing the top doesn't do much. The book's still stuck in there. Plus, you have this uh, divider right here. So, I took the hammer to the other end and for sure, you don't have to just stop at the edge right there. You can keep hammering a little bit to get a bigger piece like this one here, okay? And the inner well, okay? In the video that I show, you know how I use a, uh, a tool to yank it straight out, I should have mentioned that you must pull it out straight. You must, okay? And let me show you why. Okay, imagine that this is this inner well have a book inside, okay? When you're pulling it out straight, no harm is going to do to the book, okay? But imagine if you pull it at an angle, okay? Let's say you pull it at an angle like this and pull it out like this. Guess what? The book, the spine is going to be wrecked, okay? So if you use this method, even if you remove a third or half of the, the casing, like, like this example right here, you still need to pull it straight out, okay? That's the only thing that I should have mentioned in the other video, is just like pull it straight out. Either lay it flat on the table or leave it on the side. A lot of time I leave it on the side like this, lean it, and then I can pull it out real quick, one quick smooth motion. And that's it, and you should not have any kind of damage to the book. Okay, so make sure you do that. Pull it straight out. That's it for this quick tips video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.